This time on Bulletproof Tactical, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Mossberg 464 SPX. This is chambered in 3030 Winchester. I know a lot of viewers have been requesting more rifle videos, so I asked you guys in the comment section what you guys wanted to see. This was one of them. So I went ahead and picked this one up and we're gonna go ahead and do a review on it. So continue watching. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the unpackaging of this rifle. I know a lot of viewers are gonna ask, you know, Bulletproof Tactical, is this the original packaging? But no, it comes with a standard cardboard box. That one got thrown away by the previous owner. I did pay the used price for this rifle. So let me go ahead and start with the price, how much I paid for this rifle, so you guys can get an idea. Uh, these rifles new are going anywhere within $610 to $650 plus taxes. So you can uh, basically calculate how much you're gonna have to pay in, in your area. Luckily, I did get this one used in very good condition and I only paid $500 for it. So we're gonna go through all the accessories and everything here in a minute. But first I would like to start by saying my first impression on this rifle. I know what you guys are thinking, maybe uh, a lot of lever action folks, this is a lever action rifle. I know a lot of lever action folks are used to the traditional wooden stocks. Um, you know, usually lever actions are more classic looking, so, uh, you know, your first impression when you look at it, it does throw you off because of all this polymer furniture. Let's go ahead and do a safety check for all the internet mommies out there that worry about my safety. We're clear. So, as you guys can see, you do get pic Picatinny rails here on both sides which honestly it kind of throws you off on a lever action rifle i've never seen this done before you do get a six position uh extended stock here uh it does have six positions or so mossberg claims so i always carry it on the most extended position but i really like it because if you want to throw this in the car you can just basically put it in its lowest position and you're off to the races or let's say you're teaching your son how to hunt maybe he's a little dude you know, you can definitely have this shortened out for him and his comfort. You know, so that's pretty handy. You do get your, your levers here to put a sling on it. Uh, this one did come with this scope included. You do get your traditional scope mounts. But I want you guys to also focus on the fiber optic sights here. Something not very common with lever actions. Usually you just get the standard iron sights or sometimes you just get the scope mount. Um, so if you don't wanna run it with a scope, you do get really bright fiber optic sights, which I think is pretty cool. And you guys are also gonna notice the barrel is quite short. I mounted this light right here. This one wasn't included in the price. My Surfire light, I just mounted it so you guys can get an idea if you guys are hunting at night. You know, you guys wanna turn it on. It's pretty handy. Uh, you can also mount a, let's say, a laser or maybe, you know, a night vision or something that could help you out. So I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it starts growing on you initially when you see it for the first time and you come from a traditional mindset of what a lever action should look like. It's going to really throw you off at first, but then it starts kind of making sense once you realize this really only weighs seven pounds according to the specs, but the barrel is really short it does have a threaded end which is interesting also not really common on rifles it does have a muzzle brake 16 inches 16.25 inches so it's a short barrel for a lever action in my opinion also with a muzzle brake which will help with the recoil once again this is 3030 winchester and uh what else can i tell you uh six positions um stock uh, the overall length of the firearm does come to be 34 inches. So that's with the stock folded out in its max position, something to keep in mind. 
Uh, I haven't zeroed in this scope, so once we go test it down to the range, we are going to have to zero it in. So that's going to be interesting. And uh, I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this. You know, a lot of uh, viewers have been requesting rifles. Everyone's getting into the deer season. You know, they want to take down some animals. So this was one of the rifles you guys have been requesting. And I can see why. It's definitely lightweight. And you can get, you know, a lot of pot potential out of this rifle. So let's go ahead and do a trigger pull. We'll go ahead and proceed to take it down to the range afterwards. So continue watching. All right, so let's go ahead and do this trigger pull everyone likes me to do. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do three trigger pulls. We'll get the average. Once again, firearm is clear. Nothing in there. Forgot to mention, this is a six plus one capacity. So you can carry up to seven rounds. I figured a lot of you guys care about capacity. So let's go ahead and do the first trigger pull. Two pounds, 8.1 ounces. Let's do that again. Two pounds, 9.1 ounces. And last but not least, two pounds, 8.5 ounces. So pretty consistent, we'll get an average and that comes to be two pounds, 8.6 ounces is your trigger pull. I wanna say it's the best trigger out there in the world, but then again, this is just uh, something you're gonna carry for hunting. So let's go ahead and uh, proceed. We're gonna go ahead and take this down to the range. We're gonna zero in the scope. We're gonna get a nice little group in and I'll give you guys my overall experience once we come back from the range. Continue watching. Okay, so Bulletproof Tactical, give us your experience. How is this firearm? Should I go ahead and buy all of them up? Um, first of all, I want you guys to, to understand this is not your traditional lever action rifle. This is totally different to what some of you guys are used to when it comes to lever actions. And I'll be honest with you, I really am the type that likes to see the traditional you know, lever action rifles. I did a review on a Marlin a few months ago. You guys would like to go ahead and check out that video. I'll go ahead and recommend it at the end of the video. But uh, then again, that's a traditional lever action. This is more of a new concept, more tactical looking, you know, with your Picatinny rails, fiber optic sights. I mean, it's something different, you know, you can change the positions on your stock. But once you add this all up with a classic lever action and you fuse it into this tactical looking rifle, you know, in my opinion, it does make sense to have something like this. I would have liked the barrel to be a little longer, you know, at least 20 inches, maybe even 22 inches, get a little more velocity out of this. You know, 3030 does have a pretty hard recoil, not excessive, but you know, um, maybe a longer barrel would have been better. I really do like the fact that you get your uh, fiber optic sights. If you want to ditch the scope, that's something cool. As far as the price goes, for $650 plus tax new, 
I would say it's not that bad, honestly. Um, if you compare it to some other rifles out there that are in the upwards to a thousand or a thousand plus dollars, I would say this is a good starting point. You know, it's definitely, uh, you're going to get your money worth. And also, you know, you get your strap uh, to, if you want to sling it. You know, it's a pretty good rifle in my opinion. I don't know, shoot me in the comment section. Do you guys think it's ugly? Do you guys think it's nice? Did you like this review? Don't forget to subscribe to Bulletproof Tactical. Leave a like in the video. Leave a comment. And I'll go ahead and reply as quick as I can. So that would be it for today's video. And thanks for watching.